Network 125 uses UVU for all of its video conferencing needs. You can get FaceTime with your friends, family, and clients no matter where they are. And this program is brought to you by TVandVideoGuide.com, the best place to find TV on the Internet. So Sk yeah. Skype yeah. is, Skype is, I keep referring to Skype, but Skype is making phone calls over the Internet, video calls or regular phone calls. This isn't just that. So this is kind of like Skype plus go to my PC, go to my, go to meeting, kind of all rolled into one. Yeah, and I think what, what, what really rises to the top is, and, and we see comparisons in the marketplace all the time, Dick, and it's, it's well, it's a little bit like GoToMeeting, a little bit like WebEx. It's got elements of Skype. Mm -hmm. the, one, the one real key differentiator in what we do is managing a, an extremely high-quality video communication experience. And when, I'll, I'll just give you a, a quick um, uh, history in, 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 in the present week we're in. I was out in Las Vegas working with one of our partners who's a, an international corporation who currently deploys telepresence in, in, in literally hundreds of offices around the world. And we were demonstrating the power of UVU and the simplicity of UVU. And the comments we kept hearing were, this is basically rivaling a telepresence system from a company that sells a product for 10 to $50,000 per installation. Right. So when you can, when people start to really see what we're doing right here and see just how high, high the quality is, that you, you literally are, you, you're really starting to, 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 to come up pretty close behind the names like Cisco and Tanberg and Life Size, yes. companies that have a much more intensive product, uh, certainly from a financial perspective, a much more significant commitment. So we, we are getting some major enterprises now to start taking a look at UVU. We've already gotten several enterprises to join us, uh, become, become paid subscribers to our service, but we are seeing a growing demand from the small and medium-sized business market as well as, uh, I'll, I'll say, the, the mid-sized uh, enterprise market as well. I remember when I went to the first streaming media conference in New York City that I went to, and I talked to people from uh, Feedroom. And Feedroom was the big streaming company at that year. And that, by the way, has changed every year. Uh, and I remember talking to their VP of Finance, and he was all excited because they had made $9 million that year, and it cost them $11 million to make that $9 million, <laughs> okay? But they were all excited that they made $9 million. And I said, well, you know, I, I, I am a very small company. I can't afford <laughs> $2 million. To lose money. I can't afford to lose $2 million to bring on an audience. How is Ubu doing, since you're the finance expert, how is Ubu doing financially? Does it, does it, sure. does it cost you more than it, than it, than it takes? Or? <laughs> well, Dick, as you probably know, we're a private company. Um, we, we are uh, growing revenue at a rapid pace. Um, we are approaching a break-even point, which we, we hope to reach in the very near term. Uh, but we're, we're at a point now where we're really s seeing the scalability of our model. Um, mm -hmm. To just give you a quick, for instance, we've, we've been able to double revenue in the last five months uh, mm -hmm. on a monthly basis with, with no incremental cost. So we're now at that point where we are reaching that hockey stick uh, uh, trajectory mm -hmm. that everybody used to, used to recall really well during the, the 90s heyday. Yeah. Um, so, so I would, I would, I would say we're we're very pleased with our results. Our ownership is very, very pleased with our results, and cool. and we're going to continue to to march on and uh, continue to exceed our ownership uh, uh, expectations as well as our, our customers' expectations. I think we've got some great things on the horizon that our users are going to love. Uh, 